Hey everyone, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the channel and to today's video where we are going to be doing a com shop with me and I'm going to show you inside my head and how things work. So in relation, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but in real life or for me, I'm in the middle of a four week flybys offer, spend $50 or more for the next four weeks and get 10,000 bonus points. I've done week one or two and I filmed those and they'll go in a collab with week three and four to show you overall what we have because I'm trying to focus on just what we need and trying to build up a little bit of a stockpile. And so I'm going right back to basics just to kind of get the most basic things because a lot of stuff I can get for our snacks and stuff like that on Markdown. So I focus, leave that for that. But then this is about, yeah, the immediate meals, needs, replacements, whatever we have. So <clears throat> we have a list here that we write stuff down anytime we think of something or we run out, it's there. I take a photo of it before I leave the house, even though I have a list in my phone. But the list in my phone is the stuff constantly that I need in there to be looking at, looking for things that don't often go on sale. I'll still check. When I go into Coles, I go up and down every single aisle because I look at everything because I'm always looking at what the price is going. So even though I have a list, sometimes it gets moved out the way. And that's what I thought I would show you guys today. We'll create a list together, then we'll go shopping. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we're swayed by any markdowns or anything like that. And yeah, we'll go from here. So our freezer, as you guys know, it's pretty full. We do need, however, because I last night we ran out of broccoli, and we need frozen corn. So I've popped that down there. That's all we need. We have wedges in there. And if we want potatoes or any, we have potatoes. So if we want any other frozen chips, I'm looking at maybe making our own frozen chips and then see if my son will eat them. It's worth it. Let's go into the fridge. There's a few holes. I'll take you with me to go through and I'll show you what we need. All right, so our fridge is pretty empty, so we need a few things. We don't have any regular milk, although this is nearly empty. I got a Markdown iced coffee the other day. Kira's fine for oat milk for now. Salad dressing, we're fine, but we have no apple juice. We're okay for margarine. We have a block of cheese. We don't have any sliced cheese, so I'll probably put that on the list because... I'm not the best at cutting cheese and if we're in the morning and we're in a hurry it's just easier and quicker to grab some sliced cheese. Um, Kira has tofu, this is leftover, some iced tea, gherkins, we have back up of that in the cupboard. Um, I have cream cheese, these are pizzas that I need to fit in the freezer somewhere. We have uh, cream cheese, so we don't really need that. And anything, we have some leftover butters, so we're fine. Still got apples from last week and some grapes, so I'll we'll need to go through those. We've got cauliflower, so I don't need to buy any frozen cauliflower, but we do need broccoli. We've got lettuce, and we've still got two lots of the ham, so that will last another week because I stretch everything out to the last possible moment. And I did get get carrots on Friday when I was in Coles because they were $1. twenty, and I thought it was a weekend only. Um, they have fresh food specials and I've still got uh, apples from the other week. Um, and I still have some eggs. So we have enough stuff. We just, yeah, literally need the basics like the milk and things like that. All right, let's make a list. Sorry, thought I'd take you into the pantry just to kind of show you where we're at. So we only have half a thing of spaghetti, so we probably need another one of those. We have a quarter of pasta. We have some other pasta back there. I desperately need icing sugar, so I'm going to add that onto the list. And that looks all right. I really need to get my hubby some more chips or snacks or something um because he's run out and this is a costco haul um 
We got these Samboy chips, but my my hubby isn't really a fan, so I think I'm just going to chuck them because they've been in there for a while. Uh, we need more muesli bars. We're okay for that. We're okay for recess snacks because we've got stuff from Costco down there. We are okay for coffees. I got these last week. Got the cocoa. We're fine for everything else. Down here, well, we desperately need some two-minute noodles. We have none. Everyone else has their noodles here. We have enough chicken sauces as well as this one. I really want to make this Korean noodles. So I think we need to get, yeah, we need to get some mushrooms because we don't have any. And that will help bulk that up as well as the frozen corn. We're fine for pasta and lasagna sheets we have some super duper packs back there so we're fine we're fine for potatoes right now more noodles there's the gherkins we have peaches we have condensed um, milk so i can make some more biscuits and some more chicken sauces and stuff and right up the back is all the tinned tomatoes i got those for 50 cents each so there's another slab underneath that so let's make a list Okay, so here's our list of what we sort of need or want or thinking. And I'm going to kind of make a list here with the prices roughly that I kind of think. And then we're going to see where we end up at the end. So first one is we need honey. And that's $4.40. I know that because um, I did a comparison not long ago. So at least we... We've got that one. Um, sliced cheese, I put a tick there to sort of say to myself, yes, I really need it. So it's, that's $7. So I'm gonna put a tick through to say that we've done it. Um, my daughter wants some chai tea. We always need that. I know it's $6.50, but hopefully it will be on special. Um, so we need some chicken pies. They were three dollars eighty-five the last time I got any. Um, oh, I want to get some strawberry quick. That was three dollars last time I went. I desperately need some two-minute noodles. Um, they're nine dollars for the pack of 12. Um, I probably need some Ziploc bags eventually, but I'll put up this should be two dollars. I'll put it on the list because when I'm doing the $50 spend, if I need one or two more dollars, I'll buy something like that to top up. Um, cinnamon sugar, we bought that last week, so I don't actually need that. Same with tissues. Apple juice, we need apple juice. And that's $2.15 for a two litre. I'm a bit sad, it used to be $2 and now it's $2.15. So I know that. Um, ham, we have enough in there. The oat milk, um, I bought my daughter a whole pile from the last, last week. Oh, muesli bars. Add that to the list. They are a dollar ninety for the pack. I really want to get some cream cleanser for um, cleaning, and I I don't even know how much that is, so we'll figure that out. Um, ibuprofen, we get that from Chemist Warehouse, but that's. Um, Firm tofu. Oh, I think it's two dollars eighty for the pack. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, frozen corn. That's two dollars eighty, I think, from memory. Uh, mushrooms. Um, we used the champion cans. I think they were a dollar. 30 I'd have to double check um, icing sugar I think it's three dollars for a bag 
uh, broccoli frozen ones. I think it's $2.35. Uh, milk. I'm just going to get one liter because I'm the only one who really has it if we don't have it in coffees and it's midweek. I still have time to find some in Markdown shopping if I want, but I think I'll just get one and then we know it's here. Then if I want mashed potatoes for dinner, I have them. And fruit, oh, frozen corn we have, milk. I so, oh, okay, so I think that's everything. So let's add that up. All right, so we added it all up. I added a couple of extra things that just popped into my head and I've added it up to be 64.70. So um, our spend, <laughs> we can only have $50. Look, we can have more, but I really wanna keep it down because then that way our next offer isn't gonna be ridiculous. So straight away, I probably say we're not gonna get any Ziploc bags. I'm only gonna buy the chai tea if it's on special. We probably don't really need the chicken pies. I don't actually need this, but I will if it's on special. We do need this. I still have enough cleaner to get me through at least the next one, maybe two weeks. So, you know, that's maybe a potential. Um, need, 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 and we need that. So um, we're looking, hopefully then we can get this under $50. What I'll do when I go shopping, I add everything up as I go. So let's go and see what we can come up with. So I always have a look at the sellers to see if anything's marked down. And then I saw this coleslaw pack, so I thought that I would grab it because also this ranch dressing was marked down. So I thought, great, we'll have a little side salad, which means we'll probably change what we're going to have for dinner instead. I was going to get some of these bananas. They're $3 a kilo. I really liked the smaller kid bunches. But when I saw they were also only $3, but for 750 grams, I just got the regular size bananas and I weighed them and I got just over a kilo, I think it was. This kiwi fruit caught my eye, but I'm pretty sure the local fruit and veg shop had some similar. And I saw these as a markdown, but they were really hard inside the box. So it means they're going to sit on my counter for another week and not be eaten. So I've just left them for now. The apples, we already have enough in the fridge, but I just noticed that they were all marked down. If I didn't have any, I would have grabbed some. And we don't eat pears, but I often see that these are marked down, so I just filmed that bit. I saw this Caesar salad that I was tempted to get, but I thought, oh, it's not really worth it for a dollar. And then mushrooms, we always need them, but they're still not very good value for the size of the packaging, even though they are a marked down. Had a look at the little Easter section with all the leftover chocolate and there's nothing here for prices that I'm really happy with. Yes, I'm really stingy, <laughs> but we've also just had Easter. We don't need any more chocolate in this house. I know, me saying that, shock horror. I got some wraps because they're good for lunches and um, school holidays are here as well. And then had a look at discounted bread and I wasn't happy with these prices. Plus we already have some at home that I still really need to go through. Saw this as a markdown. We already have some in the freezer so I've left it for now. But if I was chasing more of the needing to bulk something up for the $50 then I would have grabbed it. Saw the lamingtons and then that triggered that we needed some because I didn't remember until I saw them on the shelf and I'm a little bit shocked to see that they've gone up to $2.70 from $2.50 so but I've still grabbed some because they're one of my son's favourite things so I'm going to get them for him to eat. I had a quick look at all this marked down meat. I wasn't happy with any of the prices so I just filmed it to show you guys but we also don't need any meat. <laughs> I had this voucher for some coffees, replacements for the oats. So I'm going to get these six because I need some extra, I think, to bump up because I've taken a whole lot of stuff off the list. And then I'm seeing that the chai tea is not on special, so I'm not going to get that. So that's come off my list as well.
And Hubby really likes these shape biscuits, but I won't buy them unless they're on sale for $1.60. And then there are these other like cheaper ones that we have in the cupboard at home already. And they're just, they just don't do it. I don't know what it is. So I've left them for now. And hopefully when they come on special in a few weeks, we'll be able to grab some. Power walked through the chocolate and the lolly aisle because we don't need anything. We've just had Easter, so let's not look. But I always look because I'm just curious to know. I did see this reduced to clear. Not that we like caramel, but I saw that's gone. Needed to grab a couple of biscuits. Hubby likes to snack on these from time to time, and also they make a great base for cheesecakes. I've also grabbed this pack of chalk chip cookies. We've run out, we really need to get some because they're great snacks for the house. I could make my own biscuits, I really should just make my own biscuits, but it actually is cheaper to buy the chalk chips, so we'll grab some of those. So then I've decided to put these other two packs back because we don't need those as well as the other biscuits and I'll just try and make my own base for cheesecake, we'll see how we go. I thought I'd better get Hubby a packet of chips because he hasn't had any for a couple of weeks, but I'm just not happy with any of these prices. So yeah, we had a good look at the shelf. <laughs> I'm so stingy. These were on special, but we've had these before and we don't like them. And then these are cold chicken chips are only $1.80. So we'll get one of these and I'll see what he thinks about them. Got some sliced cheese because we need it. And I know that it means it's more expensive per kilo, but you can't put a price on sanity or straight cheese. Why don't we buy cheaper cheese slices? Well, because we don't, and we don't like the taste of them. Um, went to get this tofu and then remembered that there's actually still a little bit in the fridge at home. So I did leave it, I put it back just didn't film that bit and then got some choc chip muesli bars i was going to get two packs because there's only eight in here hubby has one every day for like a lunch snack so hopefully they'll last until next week who knows got some apple juice because we really needed it i would have loved to have gotten two as a backup but just got one for now and we've got a bottle of lemonade and a bottle of red soda because um, we haven't had any for quite a few weeks, so I got one each of those. Got some milk because we needed some, and I'm only getting one liter now. Can I, if I find any on Markdown, I'll grab it, and then that means I'll make a lasagna white sauce. And then I wanted to get some two minute noodles, but there wasn't any here, so yeah, I don't know. Um, the whole grain ones we've had before, they don't taste the best. And the smaller packets, nothing is on special. So it looks like I'll be juggling around some more meals and stuff because I won't pay the pr bigger prices for the smaller packets. I wanted to get some honey because my son has um, honey toast and I've got some white bread that I really want to get through. So it's worth buying the honey to make sure that he eats the toast. And wanted to get some broccoli, but there's none of the home brand and I'm not going to pay the prices for a brand name. And to get the mixed vegetables, there's beans and peas in them. My daughter doesn't like that at all, so I'd have to sit there and pick them out. <laughs> no, thank you. My sanity is worth more than that. Then I looked at getting this mixed bag of broccoli and cauliflower, but we already have cauliflower at home that I still need to blanch and freeze. So we're just gonna eat that until we finish it and then hopefully broccoli will be back next week. Uh, looked at some corn kernels and oh, there's only a couple of packets left, thank goodness, because we are out and we needed some. And I juggled some meals around already to make sure that we could do something without it. It's one of the veggies that my son does like to eat with carrots, so I need to make sure that we have it. But also we've had less uh, freezer space lately, so I've really had to juggle around what we've needed. Okay, we need to move on to grab this juice. My daughter really likes the morning start that's here. However, the price per litre, I'm not really happy with. Sometimes I can find it as a markdown, so then I'll buy that. So instead, we're getting this daily juice. 
it's a pity that it's not on special a few weeks ago it was like six dollars fifty so yes only saving fifty cents but hey it's worth it if i find anything as a markdown it's usually a straight orange juice which she doesn't enjoy so you might as well buy what they're going to drink super happy to see these were here completely forgot about the bulk buys and they're 11 dollars. i think that's like a dollar less than last week so i'm gonna grab them because we need them and then i've had this on my wish list for a while because we have that fish in the freezer and now that i have the coleslaw from before i think we'll have fish for dinner with coleslaw on the side and my daughter and my son will have something else for dinner because they don't enjoy that but that's how quick meal ideas change in this house. I thought about getting some pineapple because we have none, but we just had pizzas last night, which means we won't need it for another week. So that can go on the list for next week to try and build stockpile in that area. And the same with the champions, I'll get one can because we do need at least one, but the rest I can juggle meals around to make sure that we have them next time. I buy the whole ones, they're cheaper than buying just the pieces and the stems. I always have a look in the ice cream freezer section just because I'm curious to know what's in there and I found it interesting. There's pretty much absolutely no home brand products in here at all, they're all brand names, but I have products to make ice cream which I really need to get onto. So I added everything up and we're sitting at about $72 it adds up so fast so we're putting the coffees back because we don't actually need them the voucher i have is valid for 30 days so hopefully next week that we go i'll be able to use that to help build up the 50 dollars but who knows what our list will look like by the time we get there all right it's time to check out my total says about 51.47 and so let's have a look. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well over 55.15. I seriously thought about what I could maybe put back, but I thought oh, I've already been in here for about an hour because I really was cross-checking and double-checking everything. So we're just going to pay for it as it is. Yes, we've swiped our flybys card. I know a lot of people say just don't do it, walk away, but... I've paid for it, it's done, let's go. Week three is complete, let's go home. All right guys, so here's our list. I'll put up a photo of what we did get, but I'll save the video actual details for the collab for the flybys offer. So we did get honey, we got the sliced cheese, we didn't get the, I'm gonna get a new pen. We didn't get the chai tea or the chicken pies or the quick. We did get the noodles, but they were $11, not nine, because we got the bigger bulk. Yes, didn't get the Ziploc bars. Got the apple juice, muesli bars. Yep, didn't get the cleanser. Didn't get the tofu either. Did get the corn, mushrooms. Didn't get the icing sugar, so that will need to go on to next week's list because my son's birthday is coming up and i need to make a cake didn't get the broccoli because there wasn't any there got the milk didn't get the pineapple don't actually need it but we'll want it for the following week got the juice um got those wraps as well that you saw as well as some markdowns and I'm just trying to think what else I have. I've put everything away. So as you see, nothing is ever to plan. So this is exactly why the good budget people will say, write a list and stick to it. And when you go in there, you know what you're going to get. Well, there was the shopping that was and wasn't. As I was saying, this is why the budgeting people will be like, make a list and stick to it. But I forget stuff all the time. Like I went in there and went, oh, the wraps, we actually don't have any, we do need some. So I do have a list in my phone of things that we buy regularly. So when I'm in the shop, I will look at that. But because I go into the store and I walk the same route and the same routine every single time, I know I'm going to see things and they're gonna jog my memory and I can visually remember roughly what's in the house like yes we don't have any wraps yes the bread's low 
no we don't have any pineapple but we did have pizzas the other night so it's how my brain works um it's sometimes how it doesn't work because i will sometimes go i don't think we have any of that and then we've suddenly got five cans or something and it's going to take us like three months to get through but <sighs> best laid plans and all of that so it's why i just dumped this in the same basket as menu planning <laughs> We are not friends. <laughs> so it's great to have a list and it does help me with the $50 spend, especially if I'm sitting at like $40 or so and I'm really struggling to bulk it up to make sure also that I'm buying stable canned foods and things like that. So it's great to have that list to sort of think of all the things that I want to keep going. But otherwise, <laughs> I get swayed very easily by markdowns and anything that I have forgotten that now I've remembered. So, yes. <laughs> Let me know if you have a list when you go shopping. Do you just wing it? I'd be curious to know because, oh. <laughs> crazy so this video will be going up I don't know when but there should be a four week collab video showing you all four weeks of the flyby shopping so I can put it all together we're gonna see how we go next week for food shopping maybe I'll do a run on on this video and show you where my head's at for this because I would be hoping that I can actually do some pantry staple shopping then but who knows? <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? It could be a plan. It could be another funny video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, do leave me a comment below. And let me know if you're a lister or if you're a winger. <laughs> because I'm sure there's a few of us around absolutely subscribe if you haven't already we would love to have you as part of our frugal fun family and as always i look forward to seeing you next time bye